Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to be talking about quilts. That's my quilt. Yep, it's not folded. It's just thrown up on the top of my couch, but that's okay. Um, it's a quilt. And guess what? Quilts are big money bolos, let me tell you. Some go for crazy money. Now, I am not by any means an expert, but I do have somebody I want to share with you. And that is the Phi Resellers. And if you go to their YouTube channel and you go over to the search bar right here and type in quilts, you are going to find a ton of information on quilts. Now, some of the videos are older, but they are still educational for you guys to learn more about what to look for and how they sell quilts, and they kind of specialize in it. So definitely, definitely check them out on YouTube, and I will link them down below. So let's talk about some quilts. This first one here is signed 1935. But if you notice, the nine is backwards, which is kind of different. And I kind of want to look at the pictures here. Look how beautiful this is. And look how they have it displayed. So that's one thing that I find really hard about um, blankets and quilts and things like that is how to display them and make them look really good and to be able to show the condition. So every quilt has a pattern name, which I don't know anything about. This one is Feather Star Pinwheel. Okay. I know that because I'm reading the title. This is dated 1935 and they have a little cheat sheet here on this one. All right. Sold for $560 plus shipping. I could not verify this with feedback, but what I did is I went into the seller's store and I could not find where they had relisted the item. So I'm going to assume that is a good sale. I'm also going to go in and look at the winning bidders feedback. And if this was a zero or a low number, I might be a little concerned, but this person has over a thousand, almost 2000 feedback. So more than likely they paid for the item. So that's a couple ways that you can verify if an item actually sold. The next item is this unique unused quilt, antique hexagon green diamond by hand grandma flower garden. And look at how amazing this is. These remind me so much of my grandma. Um, I've got quilts that were made by her, but I also pick them up from time to time, but we have a tendency to keep them. I found some at a garage sale and my husband's like, let's just keep them. And I'm like, okay, I mean, it's not gonna hurt to keep them. We can always sell them later. Now, what do you guys think about displaying it on a bed? Do you like that? I have to say that I think it's pretty cool. Now, would I do it? Probably not. I'm too lazy, but I definitely think it's beautiful. 585 on that one, and I could not verify it with feedback, but they did not relist it. Okay, now this one, this one's a little tricky, and I'm going to teach you guys something here if you're new to the channel. Antique 1900s pinwheel wedding ring variation patchwork quilt. Typically, when something sells that is best offer, it is swiped through. And it was not marked through here or on the main page. So I assumed that it went for the full amount. Now, I went in and I looked at the feedback. And you can see down here, it was marked through. So I knew they took a best offer. So I copied the title and I went into Terapeak and I put it into the search bar right here and I went down and it looks like they took a best offer of $250. Now, one thing I noticed about the title is they have the word mint. I would be very careful about putting the word mint in a quilt from the 1900s because there has got to be something that is not perfect on that item. That is just my opinion. Um, maybe there's different uh, 
meaning for the word mint in the quilt world. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments. But yeah, pretty interesting. And there's the feedback. Now this one is Judy Boyson Vintage Quilt from 1991. So this one here I don't think is handmade. Or maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe I lied. Uh, I don't know. You guys explain that one to me. It's dated and signed. Do you think that's the person who did the quilting? Let's see. Hand wash. America. So I think this is, says made in China. So, okay. Mass produced. It looks like. So this one is mass produced, which is really shocking that it went for $700. And $30. Let's look at this. 449 feedback. The item was not relisted. So I'm going to assume that this was a good sale. Uh, yeah. Three bidders, 16 total bids. Here is one. Two matching antique hand stitched twin quilts. Feed sack flower garden. Excellent. So I think flower garden is the pattern. And feed sack is what they used to make it. I could be totally wrong. Happy to hear what everyone has to say. For some reason, it's not loading the photos. Okay, so they did show the back as well. And this one, it says one spot as noted. And no feedback on this one and it was not relisted. But what I would say is unique about this is that you have two quilts. So this is great for the person that is that has two twin beds and they want matching quilts. 850 plus shipping. Now this one was listed and sold for a much higher price. And I went and I tried to verify it and I saw that they relisted it. And I came to this listing where it shows that it sold for $799 and it was not relisted after this. That was with free shipping. This is from the 1950s. It's a Ridem Cowboy crib quilt with free shipping. So this is for a crib, $799.95. The next item is this outstanding 1890 to 1900 birds in air half checkerboards quilt. And this is the pattern. And again, great display. Photos look great. I will notice that a lot of the quilting titles have words like outstanding, uh, descriptive words, which you don't see a lot. And I have always been discouraged by other resellers to use words like that, like amazing, outstanding, wonderful, um, because they're not really searchable. People don't really search them. But in a lot of the quilt listings, I'm seeing that. So maybe it's different for quilts. You guys can, again, let me know your feedback in the comments. This one sold for a best offer of $525. And they had positive feedback. So that was a good sale. Here, vibrant, vintage, 1870s, red and green, bear paw antique quilt, garden maze framing. Again, I don't know how they date these items. They've got a descriptive word, vibrant, as their first word. And this one is marked through, so it has a slash through it. So let's go over to Terra Peak, and it sold for $650 best offer. Vintage 30s Peacock and Floral Vines Antique Quilt. Amazing hand stitching. So again, amazing. $795. It's crossed through. Look at this peacock, you guys. How beautiful is that? And look at the condition. I mean, I don't see a spot on it. How do people find these things? Ended up taking a best offer of 745. Outstanding vintage wool antique crazy quilt. Dense hand embroidery. Look at this, guys. Ooh-wee. 
Wow. Just wow. Look at that detail. Terra Peak says this one sold for $575 on best offer. This one is a 1930s blue and white Dahlia. Da oh. oh, I always forget how to say that word. Is it Dahlia? I don't know. Medallion antique quilt. Amazing hand quilting. There's our antique vintage clock. I don't know if it's antique or vintage. Do you guys hear it? It was broken for a while and we got it fixed and I'm so happy. I found that at a garage sale for my husband. All right. So 1,795, it has crossed through. That one sold for 1,205. Here's another one. Very early vintage peel melon patch antique quilt chintz fabrics not sure if i pronounce that right you can see it has a square is that is it made like that it looks like it might be made like that huh that's interesting it looks like it might be on that side also it can't be made like that right is it messed up good let's see see description let's see there's quoting around the piece work throughout uh, the back is early huh I don't really see anything oh cutouts in two corners of the quilt with a detailed keyhole design so that's how it's made $875, took a best offer of $800 on that one. Vintage 1870s Flying Geese Antique Quilt, and all of these were verified with feedback, guys. These last uh, five or six that I've done. $395 on this one. And it's crossed out, so we went over to Terapeak, and it sold for $300. So notice that the pattern is flying geese. And I'm guessing Google Lens would help you out with some of the patterns as well. But I definitely do not know quilt patterns. The next one is this large vintage quilt top flying geese. So this one says flying geese as well. And this is just the quilt topper. And it sold for $225 with free shipping. And you can see right here, it was verified with feedback. You guys, this is just a very, very small piece of the pie of solds on eBay. It is absolutely incredible. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Hey, Courtney. My name's Kristen. I'm a rural squirrel. You can find me in all the places. Thanks for letting me share some of my favorite bolos with you guys. And vintage quilts is definitely on that list. These things have been in style for a long time. They've consistently been good sellers, and I've been on eBay for 26 years. They've always done well for me. And look how much I'm selling them for. Plus, I'm getting them at the bins where my bins is 69 cents a pound. I got another one going out today. So make sure that you're watching for vintage quilts, good quality, handmade, hand stitched if you can find them, great colors, and you're gonna do great because they're always a good bolo. Thanks so much for having me. I hope you guys are out there finding amazing things. I hope you're shipping amazing things. I hope you're doing amazing things. And I'll see you guys in the bins. How many solds there are, what these quilts go for. People love them and they collect them. Now, there are many that are going to go for less. They can still be sold with stains and defects. If I get a quilt, I usually don't do anything to it. I sell it as is because I don't know the proper way to wash it to make it good and not ruin it. So I'm not a quilt expert. So if I find one, it's being sold as is. So you have to decide, do you want to take a chance of making it worse or do you want to just sell it as is and let the experts, the people buying it, fix it? Because there are lots of tips and tricks out there to cleaning fabric. And everybody does it a little bit different. You guys are welcome to put down in the comments any tricks or tips you may have. 
But um, I advise you that if you're not really familiar with how to clean a quilt, maybe just leave it to the buyer. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.